It's a new month here at Hensler Financial, and we found three important things to focus on in the market this month. Number one, earnings season. With the third quarter now behind us, earnings season will be kicking off in the coming weeks, and with that, analysts expect S&P 500 earnings to grow just 2.9%, which would mark the lowest earnings growth rate since the third quarter of 2020, the depths of the pandemic. Stripping out the energy sector, third quarter S&P 500 earnings are actually forecasted to decline from a year ago. Companies continue to face persistently high inflation and now waning consumer demand, which is likely to be a theme of third quarter results. Bright spots outside of energy include industrials, real estate, and consumer discretionary, while the seven other economic sectors are all forecasted to post earnings declines. All of this suggests that perhaps the market's anxieties about corporate profitability may be coming to fruition this earnings season, which could put further downward pressure on stock prices. Number two, speculation of a Fed pivot. Markets kicked off October and the third quarter with a two-day rally, sending stocks ripping off their lowest levels of 2022, as investors speculated that perhaps the Fed might back off its plan for aggressive interest rate hikes on prospects of weakening growth and concerns regarding global financial instability. In late September, panic in UK markets following the government's newly announced tax-cutting policy led to a sell-off in fixed income and currency markets and forced the Bank of England to take emergency action buying government bonds at a, quote, urgent pace in order to restore UK financial stability. Naturally, investors' minds jumped immediately to other central banks, and it seems began speculating that less aggressive policy would follow elsewhere. The Federal Reserve, however, looks committed to further tightening and even in the days following the Bank of England's action, has stated its continued support for further lifting borrowing costs. While markets have not yet morphed into an actual state of alarm, an increasingly dark sentiment is starting to brew behind the scenes. Chairman Powell has stated that he wants the labor market to loosen up and recessions come with higher unemployment, so for now, it seems Fed officials are willing to trade a recession for bringing inflation back down. Number three, oil prices. In a move designed to spur recovery in oil prices, which have fallen by roughly 30% from their 2022 highs, OPEC Plus agreed to reduce oil production by 2 million barrels per day, its largest supply cut since 2020. Additionally, OPEC Plus said it will no longer hold monthly meetings and instead meet every six months, though its next meeting is set for December 4th. President Joe Biden was quick to voice his displeasure for the move, calling it short-sighted. In response, the Biden administration is reportedly preparing to back off of some sanctions on Venezuela in order to allow Chevron to resume pumping oil there, which could provide an additional meaningful supply of oil to both the U.S. and European markets. For now, expect oil prices to remain elevated, while any further developments between the U.S. and Venezuela, or an announcement out of OPEC+, Plus, is likely to add to the recent volatility. And that's been your Market Minute for the month of October. Thanks for listening.